this. Hey, everyone, well, Shemmy here, and welcome back to more 2.0 hospital. My god, this has taken so bloody long. I've literally just been sat here and sat here and sat here. We managed to fix the money. We, we had a lot of uh, emergencies come through, and obviously, you get the, the bonus for it all and putting the price. I've put the prices down a bit, and then that's why our reputation is so high at the moment because I put our prices down. I figured it out. Look, our reputation is max because all our prices are minus 20%. Um, I thought we could afford it now, and that's what I've just done. I've just put them back down again. Although we're having a bit of problem. The main problems at the moment seem to be with the cafes, and that's causing a lot of issues. But we literally just need to cure seven more people. Two more are currently in there at the moment. I didn't realise there were two people in there. Some Suno, one was failed. Is there two people waiting for this? There's three people waiting for this room. Excellent. So we might actually get this done really quick, then we can start our next hospital then, which... I'm looking forward to it. I've been stuck on this one now for hours upon hours upon hours. It's taken so long to get to the point we are now. And it's just, uh, I want to try start to fresh. I'm not a big fan of the shape of these buildings. Like, this building's okay. This one's annoyed me a bit. This one I liked because of the way that it all worked out. Um, I really feel like, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether, like, our first main building, there seems to be a major issue with cafes and... And that sort of thing. So a lot of staff are absolutely knackered. A lot of staff just wandering around at the moment, which is not great. Um, again, we just got to try and just get these last couple of people cured. There's one person in the queue for that. Um, anyone queuing up for this? So, yeah, three people in the queue for that as well. We just got to get some successful cures in. There's one there. That's 25 out of 30. I'm hoping we get some good um, stuff for this as well. I'm hoping that I've, I've spent ages and ages and ages. We got to two stars and got no reward, which annoyed me. Um, so I'm hoping now we're going to get a decent reward for this one. We need to get five people cured by injection. Patient going to rival hospital. Come on. Come on. Let's see how we go. Your patients, please use the toilets provided. Cured? Yep. 26 out of 30. Oh, we're doing well. I think... Why are you people... What are you doing? I mean, is it the game bugged out? They seem to be stuck. They seem to be stuck with nothing to do. I don't understand... Should I start firing some of them? Seven years, six months, and five days. What? Right, let's not worry about it. we literally got to cure four people. Let's just not worry about anything now. Let's just... Basically, there's two people in these rooms now... Let's just get them sorted and we are done. Right, hygiene rating of 80. We'll click on it, but... Oh, actually not far away from it, actually. We're 10% away, but another cure done. Literally three more cures, two more cures. And we have got three stars on this hospital. Three stars on this hospital. I have been informed that Cheesy Gubbins are a proud sponsor of Two Point Come on. Radio. And are, in fact, delicious morsels of tempting cheddar Come on. Is anyone queued? I will choke down my pride. And There's no one queued for the room. We need two more people. Right, let's... Let us save us some music let's go let us to patient, see if we can push anyone through. As we always like to. That seems to be the best way of getting things... Wow, look at me. People are queued for the um, fluid analysis. Maybe that's something we'll have to look at pushing a bit more next time. Yep, that was a injection. That's an injection. Okay, so we've got two injection people coming straight through. So we can find any more to push on. Yep, rock bottom, that's injection. We're going to be pretty close here. Another rock bottom, that's close. You're literally doing nothing. What are you doing? Oh, you're in the fluid analysis room. Okay, that should be enough. We've just sent like four, four or five people down here now. Right, someone's in. That's a successful cure. One more cure in the injection room is going to be enough for us to complete this. Is there a queue here? There is one person over here. You are the big man, Vince. Vince Power. Nice. Go on, Vince. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there, mate. Patient is leaving the hospital. Oh, Vince Power's rage quitting. For God's sake, come on. Is that it? The game's frozen. No. Wow. What is going on with this game? It's just, it's really up and down. It's not quite, um, it's not quite 100% yet, is it? It's a little bit up and down still. Come on, injection people, where are you? Oh, 
convinced we have enough there. There's a rock bottom. Mimicking, okay. Yep, Jitterbug, that's another one. Rock bottom, another one. Rock bottom, another one. Litterbug. Again, that's like four or five more people I've sent. Can one of you just get... There we go. There we go. It was going to be Vince Power. It's not going to be Vince Power anymore. It's going to be someone or other. But as long as they're successfully two in the row... Come on, one of them's got to be... There we go. Three stars. No unlocks again. Congratulations, your hospital has been rewarded a three star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Flemingtonians are sophisticated breed, so it reflects well upon you and your organization that your hospital lives up to their lofty standards and fits in the most noble of towns. I hope you're able to spread civility as well as you're able to stop spreading germs. Right. So open the map. Here we go. Oh. What was that? Anyway. Um. Oh, you can zoom out on the screen. I think we're over here now, I believe. Not in there yet. We were... Ah, it's these two I've got to pick from. So I've got the nuclear power plant. What does that one say? An abandoned hospital near a power plant. Or a teaching... Oh, surgery. Surgery. Get me to the surgery. I love surgery in this game. I really want to unlock this. Right, a teaching hospital focused on surgery. So we're probably going to end up pretty similar to one of the previous ones where... We had a very limited amount of people we could hire. Um, it was really down to... Um... Ooh, I don't know that. Welcome to Smogley, based just outside the city. The mayor is keen to help develop this area. Currently, this means it receives a generous supply of two things, pollution and patients requiring surgery. I recommend building up a teaching hospital and training some surgeons. Surgery requires a qualified doctor and a nurse, but it brings in big bucks and it's worth it, right? Pause the game. Surgery unlocked. Oh, this building is a horrible building. What have we got plot-wise? So we've got this plot here. That plot there. That there. There's loads of tiny weeny buildings. Not very nice at all, to be honest. Um, right, let's go for plot two. Um, plot four. It's a, it's a chunk of money spent, but I think it's definitely worth it. Right. We are going to... What are we going to do here? GP's offices are going to fit in... Um, I think we want to have a big cafe in here, you know? Because that seems to be a massive issue wherever we are. So I'm thinking like a massive... Not a massive cafe, but... It has to be four by five, doesn't it? It's not the nicest looking thing in the world, is it? But... To be honest, the benefits it's going to give us, it probably is worth it. Um, so I'm thinking like three actual cafes. Because the, the first building is the one that seems to get bombarded with people. So I'm thinking this is just, from what we've learned, this is probably the most important room we could have in this hospital. Granted, it's got to be surgery and that sort of stuff, but... I just think that at the moment that is something we need to be addressing is just the issue that that seems to bring us. So we'll have that. Um, we will also... So we've got surgery already then, have we? 26 ray... 26 rain? 26 grand, okay. Uh, what else we need first? We need a reception. Which again, we know we want to have a big reception. Let's have a massive one here. Why not? Because again, this is going to be the main hub of people coming in, so... Let's um, make sure, again, based on the last hospital, we had some problems with people not able to check in um, to the hospital, which did cause issues. Um, and we had massive, massive queues. So we have just one reception desk right at the front with a stupid amount of people in there. And we're going to make this room, though, a priority. So I always want people working in the cafe because that's really going to give us a bonus. And then the rest of this building, I think we're just going to fill full of... GP's offices. Simple as. Um, they are a massive, massive benefit. We need as many as possible, as we've seen in the past, because it just it's the best way, isn't it? We need to get as many as we can, because they do cause a hell of a... a hell of a bottleneck if we haven't got them. Right, so build that one there as well. 
And I'm going to take it off pause in a second once I've built one more. And then we can start to get the other buildings. Because in the other buildings, um, one of the ones just... This is horrible, isn't it? I don't like the way this is designed. These building shapes are disgusting. I, I don't like it. I want to get this one. And this will be our, like our nurse's diagnosis building. And this will potentially be our training rooms. And we want to get the surgery sorted pretty soon if we can. So let's speed the game up. We need some actual staff, don't we? Yeah. That would have been stupid. Right. Um, doctors. And we'll get you straight in. There is actually a guy trained in surgery already. So it might be worth getting him in. Fabio Flop. So we'll get him in because he's a surgeon. The nurses need to be trained in surgery? Doesn't look like they do. I'm going to get you in because you're really good. Uh, and we're also going to get in a backup. We'll get you in because you've got some diagnostic skills. And then assistant-wise, we need at least... Well... I want one in the reception, but I've got a feeling if I hire all these three, they're all going to go straight into the cafe, aren't they? But let's see what happens anyway. Let's get a couple of janitors in. We want, um, let's get you because you're a bit all around. Right, there we go. We've got a helipad in this one? Yes, yeah, right over here. Okay. That's going to cause some problems as well, isn't it? Maybe I could have a second building over here with another reception, some GP's offices in. It's just, it's not a nice shape, this building at all, is it? I know there is someone working reception, which is good, okay. Um, any more assistance yet? No. Well, we'll hire you because you've got psychiatric skills as well, because you could become useful. So this building here is actually a much better building than this one. Um, Shape-wise, these are the... Why have you got two space gaps? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. Ah. Right, so a general diagnosis here. I know it's, it can be smaller than that, but it just fits the space better. Put you right in the middle of the room. Boom. And then we want to go for a... Uh, what else do we want to go for here? We're going to go for a... I've forgotten what it is. A cardiology. That's what I want. Cardiology. Which you could fit there as no well. In the corridors. There we go. I feel like this might be a, a good place for a ward. Maybe surgery can take place in here. Um, should I build one straight away? It needs to be 4x3. That's 4x6. Oh, perfect. So we can actually have... Oh, you. Yeah, four by three. Okay, that that fit perfectly. Then, will it? Okay. Um, we can fit two in this gap then, right next to each other, which is good because this is obviously going to be the the big one in this scenario is surgery. So, right, so we've got that. So we're going to need an operating table. So we're going to put it down here. The medical sink on the wall. So we we'll put that here. And we're going to need a screen for getting changed, which we're going to put here. Hi, we put a vital monitor on the wall as well to try and improve. Hours, be there we go. All the try and improve our, our healing skill. Which okay, Stay that's nice. I like that. Out. And then maybe then we'll stick a... We want us to train 10 staff, cure 15 patients as well. And cure 5 patients with turtle head. Wow. Okay. Um, so you want to go for a, what do we want, what do we want, what do we want, we want a trading room, I can't find any my rooms at the moment, I'm sure I just saw it then I, uh, there we go, trading room, we're just going to put one in here for now, I will move it to a different building once we sort ourselves out, but I think for the moment we're going to have it in here, right, so let's get that, that, and that, Okay, I do enjoy surgery in this game. It was one of my favourite parts of the old game. Right, so we've got a trading room now. We're not covering our costs yet. That's not an issue. We never do early on. Um, right. Hospital isn't covering its costs. Making more money. Okay, so you've got a little bit of thing in there. I don't know if I want to spend any more money yet or wait to see if any of these other things come up first. Doesn't say what you've got, does it? Alright, this is another, another one with heating issues as well. I get annoyed with heating, I really do, I must admit. Um, let's put some heating 
Yeah. People, people over here are going to moan they're too hot now, aren't they? Let's just put one inside this door for now. And let's shift this for now just into this corner just to distribute the temperature better. So this is very much future-proofed at the moment with the, the way that I've done the big cafe and the reception. Um, that's the idea anyway. Right, maybe a fluid analysis room might be a better one. A ward is required, okay. Um, get the patient to wait. We will build a big ward. Again, we're just trying to future-proof everything. So we're going to actually build a big, big ward. <laughs> there we go. A huge ward. Might not quite put all the stuff in it yet, but we'll definitely build it and then we can add to it as we go along. So we'll put a... The screens cost 400 denarii. Um... Is it? I'll put a bed there. Then to maximise space, you put one right next to it. Then there, then one next to it. Okay, that's as many beds we can get to five in a row again. Right, so we'll hire another nurse with some ward skills. So it was another nurse there with double diagnosis skills. So we'll get you straight in there. Doctors, a double healing doctor. We'll get you in as well. Okay. So we are very overstaffed at the moment, but I know it's going to quite... It's going to speed up pretty soon, isn't it? Um, Porter Shed, okay. So we need to train 10 staff as well. Should we train someone now? Um, there's not really much we can train in, is there? There's diagnostics... General practice is one that I would like to do. So there's, I don't know, you don't really want to, in, don't really want to train you in that because well, there's only three people available for training, and none of them are really worth training, are they? At this point in time, we'll leave it for now. Then we'll leave it till some of them start to get promoted and that. Uh, we're gonna have to put prices up again. We always have to do this pretty early on, just to just to help the keep the money afloat early on. And um, we need to put some radiators in the individual rooms, which we can't afford at this point in time, but I'm sure we'll be able to at some point. Until we start to cure people, that's the problem. The this little stuff isn't worth that much money, but it's when we start to cure people that you really start to bring the dough in. We can get a. Uh, I don't know how much it will be to actually. Are you people being diagnosed or treated? You're being treated. Okay, that's good. And you're being treated. Oh, lovely. Two people being treated. And you are being treated. Nice. So all these three people are going to pay a decent amount of money, and you are here for diagnosis. And you, my friend, are here for diagnosis as well. Okay. Wow, the ward is pretty full at the moment, isn't it? So we're doing well monetary-wise here. We are still dropping the money, which is not great. I may have to... Hmm. I may have to... Uh... Oh, there's a cure. There's another cure. Okay, we're getting some money in now. Uh, is this a queue for this room, maybe? There is a big queue for this room. Maybe I might have to throw some more beds in then. Let's throw some more beds in to try and alleviate the queue. They're expensive, but it's worth it, I think. And um, we're also going to knock this up so we can have more than one nurse inside the the ward at once, which really helps. We need some more screens in here as well, actually, because that is a choking point at the moment. Everyone's waiting for the screen to get changed. Okay. Oh. Yeah, stop editing the room. I really made a mess there. I meant to click on items. I clicked edit and it shut everything down. Um, let's reject that for now. It's too much, isn't Janitor, it? Janitor, right. please repair heart racer. Come on, money. Where are you? Where's the money? Well, I'll tell you what, at the end of the episode now anyway... I might just run it about five minutes or so uh, between this episode and the next, just to get to the point where you start to um, 
bring a bit more money in when there's more people in the hospital. Of course, we're still quite early on at the moment. There's not many cures going on. And I'll bring you back as soon as, especially when we get our first bit of surgery in the go. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Game Effect Metrotion, and I'll see you next time. Bye.